said this thing. And, you know, look, this is a great opportunity. Oh. Jim Clark. <laughs> How could I? Jim used to. Well, Jim I still, still do. Works in. <laughs> Breaking ground on uh, the regional connector and the subway. And uh, uh, we're just working away. Oh, and we'll be opening up the Orange Line extension later this month, I think on June 30th. Uh, the extension that goes from Woodland Hills to uh, Chatsworth. And we're in construction on the extension of the Gold Line in uh, the San Gabriel Valley. So uh, we're moving ahead. Uh, and finally, let me just say one thing about the Congress. Because as you know, yesterday, uh, they failed to meet the deadline again. And I, I know I can say this on behalf of everyone, whether we're Democrats or Republicans. This is a Congress that has failed to do its job. We're, we're sitting in the middle of the worst economic crisis since the 1930s. Historically, uh, transportation and infrastructure investment has been a bipartisan uh, effort. Uh, and the fact that they failed uh, to pass in a surface transportation bill, two million jobs, including uh, helping us accelerate Measure R uh, in a 10-year period of time instead of a 30. Uh, it's absolutely uh, a great example of malpractice. Uh, and uh, certainly, I think we're all uh, very, very disappointed and frustrated with the Congress. Uh, I hope they're listening and they understand that we expect them to do their job. They'll probably be extending for the 11th time the surface transportation. Never in 50 years have they ever extended this surface transportation bill uh, that many times. Or not. Man, what a great day for Copa City. Um, as you can see, we still have plans in the works. There's not much in the parking structure, but the train is here. This is fantastic. And hopefully the, the state won't take away the property that's here so that we can build the planned project. But downtown Copa City is ready. Come on, get on the train.